we have basically discussed two uh, two cases have been discussed in the previous class okay so we will be continuing with the rest cases fine if you have any doubts please to ask me okay so case 1 we have discussed case 2 we have discussed right so uh, we'll start with the third case so if please to ask me questions if you cannot understand also if you cannot follow anything any questions please to ask me okay so coming to the case 3 a uh, 10 year old girl came to our clinic with a complaints of eye strain blurred vision after 10 minutes of reading okay so that was her complaint 10 year old girl so she could not study properly and all so complained of blurred vision after 10 minutes of reading so what was our findings findings was that the uncorrected vision was uh, 66 in the right eye in the left eye also it is 66 okay right so in the retinoscopy we got a plus 0.5 in the right eye and a plus 0.5 in the left eye also so with that plus 0.5 the child could read 66 six in the, with the both eyes okay so now come let's come to the main findings okay so when we check the npc when we check the npc it was 20 cm so normal npc should be 6 to 7 cm both subjectively and objectively the normal near point of convergence should be 6 to 7 cm okay so when we checked her npc it was 20 cm okay cover test unaided cover test means without the glasses we found the ortho for the distance and the near we found a 8 prism exophoria okay so near we found eight prism exophoria so when we did a basin for distance with the stave vergence test we got it x but that means there was no blurring at distance break at 7 and recovery at 4 right for near it was 6 18 and 10 base out for distance was no blurring at uh, distance break at 20 okay uh, recovery at 10 you can see and near it was 4 12 and 8 right so that was a findings so you can see that the base in value was quite uh, it was not proper basically what you should have so when we check the ac by a ratio it was 3.6 is to 1 it was 3.6 is to 1 so quite normal ac by a ratio it is normal ac by a ratio is 3 to 5 is to 1 3 is to 1 the patient can have 4 is to 1 the patient can have 5 is to 1 is also fine so when we check the uh, vergence facility vergence facility how do we check with the vergence flipper we check the vergence facility so we use a 3 prism base in and 12 prism base out uh, flipper type so those are the prisms basically so we check the uh, vergence facility with that so we record how many cycles a patient can complete in one minute time okay so first we are placing the we always do the divergence first right and then the convergence so uh, we we'll see how much the patient can clear so when we place the three prism base in the patient when the patient can clear it then we'll flip it to the 12 prism base out and if the patient can complete the both the these things so one cycles will be recorded okay so both base in and base out if the patient can complete uh, so one cycle is recorded so in one minute time how many cycles per minute the patient can do it okay so we have found out that the patient could uh, the vergence facility was six prism six uh, sorry nine uh, nine cycles per minute Oh, and the patient was slow with the base out prism. Okay, so when he placed the base out prism, the patient uh, took time to clear it. Another when we checked, it we found it plus two point five zero, which is quite normal. Okay, PRA was not normal. PRA was only minus one diopter. Okay, so what do you like think? Uh, what may be the problem of the patient? Yes. So NRA is normal. That is plus two point five zero. PR it is minus one. 
the patient can relax accommodation but the patient could not stimulate accommodation okay normally so it was the pra value was minus 1 diopter okay uh, npc was quite receded 20 cm right so now if when we check the npa the near point of accommodation that is the amplitude of accommodation when we checked it it was eight diopters for right eye and for the left eye also it was eight diopter okay so what should be the amplitude of accommodation for a 10 year old child anyone what should be the amplitude of accommodation for a 10 year old child yes if we uh, go to the like hop status formula it is 18.5 minus 0.3 into age so 0.3 into age means 0.3 into 10 that is 3 so 18.5 minus 3 so it is coming to 15.5 so 15 correct 15.5 diopter should be the accommodation of the patient normally a 10 year old child should have 15.5 diopter so around 15 diopter accommodation should be there so when we check the amplitude of accommodation basically we found it right eye is 8 diopters left eye is 8 diopters okay also so you can see that there is a gross reduction of accommodation the patient could not stimulate accommodation also when we check the accommodative facility accommodative facility how do you check with the accommodative flippers so maf is the monocular accommodative facility baf is the binocular accommodative facility right <coughs> so monocular accommodative facility what it was it was only two cycles per minute so see the nra pra was very less uh, so nra was quite okay plus 2.5 the pra was plus uh, minus 1 or minus 1.5 it was right so uh, we could take a, we could select only an accommodative flipper of plus minus 1 diopter right so plus minus 1 diopter we found it that the monocular accommodative facility was two cycles per minute both in the right eye and the left eye binocular accommodative facility is also two cycles per minute and the patient was slow with minus okay right now when we check the dynamic retinoscopy right eye and left eye uh, both we have checked and we have found it plus 1.25 diopters so normal lag of accommodation is plus 0.5 to plus 0.75 diopter but we have got a higher lag of accommodation at plus 1.25 diopter so what should be the diagnostic diagnosis what do you think yes anyone please to respond so what may be the diagnosis of the case yes what may be the diagnosis please to respond what do you think yes ma'am i think patient has a accommodation insufficiency and uh... Mm -hmm. convergence and insufficiency board okay okay anyone else anyone else would like to try yes so basically anyone else would like to try yes Yes, Chaya. Anything would you say? I think accommodation facility. Yeah, ma'am. I I think ma'am accommodation facility is also very poor because uh, a patient is not able to do a uh, flipper. Mm hmm. Two cycles per minute. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, ma'am. It should be box twelve. Thank okay. You. Okay. Anyone else? Yes, I can see more to see. can see bibha anomika akanksha anyone anyone will you try what may be the case ma'am i have just one query what is the normal range of virgin facilities 
yes normal uh, range of virgin facility is uh, 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 virgin facility it is yes, yes 12 cycles per minute see virgin facility is not uh, so much less if you see that okay compared to the accommodative facility the virgin facility is much better if, if you if you find yeah, it, okay? yeah. right okay so let me come to the case okay so basically this is called uh, typically a pseudo convergence insufficiency this is a case of a pseudo convergence insufficiency okay have you heard about the term anyone pseudo convergence insufficiency have you heard about the term no ma'am okay okay so pseudo means false right false so why a false convergence insufficiency basically a pseudo convergence insufficiency means it is an accommodative insufficiency okay pseudo convergence why it is called see if you see the npc it is 20 cm it is so much receded for a 10 year old child for a normal person also 20 cm near point of convergence is too much recidivate also if you see that the cover taste unaided there is a eight prism exophoria for near okay distance it's ortho so at first definitely with the first two steps we should find that like i would feel that it is it may be a convergence insufficiency okay now let's come to the other parameters See if you see the basin for distance near, it is okay. It is not so so much receded. Okay, AC by ratio is okay. Uh, Vargens facility, if you see, it is nine cycles per minute. That is also quite okay. Now you see the PRA value is only minus one diopters. Okay, that means the patient has problem in stimulating the accommodation. that is the reason the pra value is less another thing you should see the npa that is the amplitude of accommodation near point of accommodation is written but amplitude of accommodation basically it is eight diopters whereas the patient should have around 15.5 diopters right <coughs> so the amplitude of accommodation should be around 15 diopters somewhere but it is only eight diopters accommodation the patient is having <coughs> so what is your findings so monocular accommodative facility is also less binocular accommodative facility is also less npa is less mem we are getting a higher lag of accommodation so basically we can say this a pseudo convergence insufficiency but it is also practically if you see we need to train the convergence as well right why because npc is so much receded and this is 20 cm also the patient is having a eight prism basin for near so would you give a glass to the patient the uncorrected vision was 66 <clears throat> right eye left eye retinoscopy we have found it plus 0.5 diopters so would you give a glass to the patient yes Yes, ma'am. Before yes. giving the glasses, we have to train it with the orthoptic exercises, or or else the glasses won't work, and she will have the eye strain and headache. Headache. Right. We need to do a full orthoptic evaluation. That we have done it for the patient. Okay. so patient complain is blurred vision after 10 minutes of reading that means she cannot concentrate on reading okay see if you are going to give this glass we have got a plus 0.5 for di uh, distance in both eyes right so the ac by a ratio is 3.6 to 1 so that means if we give a plus 1 adapter to the patient it will increase the 
exophoria about 3.6 diopter. Okay, let's consider it to be 4 is to 1. Okay, for to make it simple, let us let's consider the AC by ratio to be 4 is to 1. So if you are giving a plus 1 to the child, it will increase the exophoria to 4 prism more. So near we have got a 8 prism basin, <clears throat> right? So it will be 12 prism basin if we give a plus 1. So now if you are giving a plus 0.5 diopter to the patient, so 2 prism more exophoria will be there. So it will be not appropriate to give her a glass at all. <clears throat> okay. So in this case, case, definitely we do not require a cycloplegic because we are not, there is no question of pushing this plus 0.5. If we are giving it, it will increase the exophoria, right? So what we need to do, we need not to give any glass to the patient. Now we need to train the convergence as well, as well as the accommodation also. Basically, this case is called a pseudo-convergence insufficiency, but also we can tell it it is an accommodative insufficiency is the primary cause, okay? And secondary cause is the convergence insufficiency, okay? So convergence insufficiency is secondary to accommodative insufficiency will be the appropriate case, uh, answer for this case. That means the primary problem is that patient's accommodation is less, okay? That is the reason because when we are looking at a near target, my accommodative convergence is working. So if my accommodation is less, so my convergence will also, accommodative convergence will be also less. So this is the, the convergence insufficiency. There is a, some part of convergence insufficiency, but it is secondary to the accommodation insufficiency. Everyone got it? Understood? Any doubt? Yes. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Yes, child. Ma'am, I have one query. Yes. Ma'am, um, um, uh, I think I have, um, I think, ma'am, when uh, patient has a convergence insufficiency, mm -hmm. then accommodation will be excess. Is it right? Convergence, yes. Yes, it is right because we normally, but, yes, we, yeah. what is the thing? We normally, what we try, we not, whenever we look at a near target, if my accommodation is less, my convergence will try to make up that, right? That's how if my accommodation is less, the convergence should be more, okay? But my accommodative convergence will be less. If my accommodation is less, accommodative convergence will be less. That is the main problem, okay? Is it clear? Okay, Right. So here we can see the NPCs recidivate and all the accommodative parameters. It is very, very, it is less. It is on the lesser side. First one, we can see the PRA is minus one. That is very less. Comparatively, that is very less for a 10 year old child. It should be around minus 2.5, minus three. It should be better. The patient had a minus three or minus 2.5. Okay. And accommodative facility is also very less. Amplitude of accommodation is also very less. Okay. So the management of this case is that we need to train the accommodation for the patient. Also, as the patient's convergence is less. So what we need to do, we need to train the convergence as well. First, we'll start with the accommodative exercises. Then we'll train the convergence. How to start with the accommodative exercises? We can give the heart chart exercise in office. So in our clinic, after evaluating the patient, we will tell the, we'll instruct the patient to do a heart chart exercise. Okay. So 15 minutes of heart chart exercise patient is doing, it will improve the accommodation level. It will definitely improve the accommodation level. And then, and then slowly we will uh, start with the if it is uh, slowly, we'll start with the broxting exercise as well. Because broxting exercise is as it is based on the physiological diplopia, definitely it will improve the convergence part. It will take care of the convergence part of the patient. It will improve the exophoria of the patient. 
so patient is having eight prism exophoria for near so that part will be okay taken care of so we'll start with the first we'll start with the management is first we'll start with the heart chart exercise second we'll start with the brock sting exercise so simultaneously we need to give let the patient first start with the heart chart exercise 15 minutes of heart chart then let the patient do the 15 minutes of brock sting exercise so we we'll see how the patient is improving and see how the patient is improving after doing the exercise for at least a week so one week suppose ki like monday we started the uh, training for the patient okay so we started with the brock sting exercise and the heart chart exercise 15 minutes heart chart 15 minutes brock sting now after one we will monitor the patient through this one week and see how much the patient is improving with a 20 cm near point of convergence you could find you could understand that the patient cannot the patient cannot focus at the near bit of the brock sting okay it will be very difficult for the patient to see the nearest bit of the brock sting to be single so we will slowly slowly will train the convergence also and heart chart exercise one week the patient will do that you see if there is very good improvement if there is improvement then we'll start with the peepers exercise pra is minus 1 so first let the patient practice the peepers exercise with the ward rock card with the uh, with your clinics plus minus 1 flipper accommodative flipper okay so you have in your in your clinic plus minus 1 accommodative flipper plus minus 1.5 plus minus 2 plus minus 2.5 so as a pr is low you give the patient the plus minus 1 flipper 10 minutes 15 minutes let the patient practice this exercise so slowly slowly it will train the accommodation of the patient as well as it will take care of this near point of convergence also is it clear to all of you any questions <clears throat> please to ask me you could not follow any questions please ask me yes ma'am i have question yes yes please Ma'am, ma'am, is there any need to do for the exophoria? Exophoria, yes, we are doing the brock sting exercise. Yes, we we should we are see. Okay. We need not to give any prism or such because yeah. a very many eight prism exophoria, the patient will have headache while bleeding and all. Okay, so we need to we if we give the brock sting itself, it will take care of the exophoria. Also, if we have sign up to four with us. Synapto four exercise also we can give abduction adduction exercises in the synapto four we can give right we can give the patient to try it for ten uh, minutes or fifteen minutes synapto four exercise okay but basic part will try start with the brock sting and with the heart chart exercise let the patient do it and slowly slowly he will improve then we can move to the next step accordingly. then we will do a repeat orthoptic evaluation okay if we see the patient is improving okay first time the patient is doing the brock sting exercise patient cannot see the focus at the near bit right so uh, slowly slowly after the second day third day and all you can see the yes the patient can focus at the near bit the patient can appreciate the pattern right so for the distance bit when he, he she is focusing what will be it will be an a pattern when the patient focus at the near bit it will be an x pattern and when the patient uh, sorry middle bit the it will be an x pattern and if the patient focus at the near bit it will be a v pattern right so the patient will find problem in focusing at the near bit only at first slowly slowly the patient will improve the patient can focus at the near bit see it single also appreciate the pattern also appreciate the v pattern when the patient can appreciate the v pattern make the patient to hold tell the patient to hold it means to sustain the pattern okay so when we can appreciate the pattern let the patient sustain it for at least 20 seconds so it will improve the fusional vertence range so thus the patient will definitely improve it can take one week time it can take two week time it can take 
three weeks time also yes so two three weeks whatever it is if the patient is improving we will do a repeat orthoptic evaluation again okay then we'll find that the npc part will be npc will be better and also maybe from 20 cm it may be 10 to 12 cm now okay and also the patient will tell that eye strain and blurred vision after 10 minutes of reading that will not be that will be also better that will also be in a better side okay patient can see the can read now properly will have less eye strain why because her accommodation is also getting trained her convergence is also getting trained okay wrong treatment would have been if you would have given this plus 0.5 for the distance okay so that is the reason always whenever whatever a child is coming to your clinic means cyclo is necessary no check the binocular vision status you need not to do the full orthoptic evaluation okay if you are getting a retinoscopy plus 0.5 you are confused whether to give or not just do the cover test just do the cover test see if there is an exophoria do not give the plus do not push that plus to the patient the patient's complaints or the problems will be like it will be more it will get more it will not be alleviated that is the thing understood understood my point so will not give any glasses to the patient so we are not going to give any glasses to the patient what we are going to do we are going to train the patient's convergence and accommodation with the basic treatment first we will monitor the patient one two three weeks if the patient is improving we will start with the accommodative flippers exercise now if you check her pra it will not be minus 1 it will be minus 1.5 at least okay minus 175 maybe it can become now you can give a plus minus 1 flipper if the patient is responding well give a plus minus 1.5 flipper and see the patient's train the patient's accommodative facility that will alleviate her problems that will minimize her problems got it all of you any questions yes any questions please to ask me otherwise we'll move to the next case no ma'am okay so coming to the next case okay